Oracle supports several scenarios for installing and deploying Oracle EPM system components. Choose your deployment path based on your business needs. These are your available options. Standard deployment is the recommended approach when you want to set up a production environment for most EPM system components in a Windows 64-bit environment. It also guides you through scaling out your deployment. Rapid deployment is a best practice approach for setting up a development environment on a single Windows 64-bit machine. Rapid deployment is available for Oracle SBase, Oracle Hyperion Planning, and Oracle Hyperion Financial Management. Rapid deployment is the recommended approach when you want to set up a development environment for specific components. For both standard and rapid deployment, Oracle can more easily support you with any problems you might encounter when your deployment is done using either of these recommended best practice approaches. Choose custom deployment to install and configure your EPM system products when neither standard nor rapid deployment is suitable for your business needs. Choose an upgrade deployment when you are upgrading from an earlier release. For example, if you are upgrading from release 9.3x or 11.1.1x to release 11.1.2.2, use upgrade. Choose to apply a maintenance release if you are moving between patch sets. For example, if you are moving from release 11.1.2.1 to release 11.1.2.2, use maintenance. Once you have completed your deployment using any of the available deployment paths, you can perform additional deployment tasks such as clustering, scaling out, rehosting a server, or changing a password. Choose an installation guide based on the deployment path you select. Standard deployment is Oracle's best practice approach for deploying EPM system components in a production environment. Use the standard deployment guide to walk you through creating a base deployment of EPM system components and then scaling out services to handle the needed capacity. This process, described using Microsoft Windows 2008 R2 and Oracle Database 11G, is applicable to all supported databases and operating systems after making adjustments specific to the operating system and database being used. The resulting deployment creates a distributed environment of EPM system components, as shown here. The standard deployment guide includes requirements for setting up your servers, user accounts, and shared file systems, setting up the database, and setting up the network. The standard deployment guide includes step-by-step -step instructions with screenshots for downloading installation files, installing, configuring, and validating EPM system components, scaling out EPM system components, and installing EPM system clients. The standard deployment process is easy to follow. You don't have to guess about what to install or configure. A standard deployment is easier to support and troubleshoot. Rapid deployment is Oracle's best practice approach for deploying EPM system components in a development environment. Use the rapid deployment guides to quickly set up a development environment using a single Windows 2008 64-bit machine. Oracle provides three guides to walk you through creating a development environment for Oracle SBase, Hyperion Planning, and Hyperion Financial Management. The Rapid Deployment Guide for Hyperion Planning includes screenshots and step-by-step -step instructions for setting up your server and user account, downloading installation files, installing and configuring Oracle Database, and installing and configuring EPM system components. The entire process will take approximately three hours to complete. A similar process is documented for a rapid deployment of Oracle SBase and a rapid deployment of Hyperion Financial Management. With these guides, you can quickly set up a development environment. 
If the standard and rapid deployment scenarios do not fit your needs, the EPM System Installation and Configuration Guide provides the information necessary for you to perform a custom deployment. Use this guide to perform a new installation of EPM system components, apply a maintenance release installation to an existing deployment, or perform an upgrade installation to an existing deployment. The EPM System Installation and Configuration Guide also includes custom scenarios such as configuring EPM system for high availability, performing a manual deployment, or deploying to WebSphere application server. Oracle provides a variety of installation and configuration documentation to support you. Choose the guide or guides that best meet your business needs. To learn more about installing and configuring Oracle EPM system products, please refer to the web link shown here and available on the EPM products YouTube channel page.